Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Andre. Today's video is a requested video and the request is to show what's, what perfumes I have or what I keep on the tray right here. So this is the tray just here and that's what it looks like, like so. Okay, we all see that. There we go. So what I'll do... Oh! I'll put tip down in front of me here and I'll go through everything. So basically up there, all I have is all my catalogues that I get from Chanel and I just keep my camera stuff, things like this and a hat and a stand that I can, oh, and a, my hat and a stand that I kind of hang charms and things on and all the charms are being used just now. So there's none there. And I keep I've got an empty box here, which I empty anything that's in my mini pochette, I empty it into that box when I'm kind of changing it about for different bags. So that's basically what's on that kind of shelf there. So let's get started with this tray. Let's get started. So basically on this tray, I keep perfumes. Um, I keep two nail varnishes, Louboutin, Christian Louboutin nail varnishes, but I'll go through everything individually and talk about them. Now, first of all, I'd like to say I, I don't really know much about notes and things in perfumes other than what I read up. Um, and But when it comes to perfumes, what I do like is I like a sweet smelling perfume. Um, a musky type of perfume, um, spicy, they're the kind of smells I tend to go for. I don't like a perfume when it's very floral-like or very fresh smelling, which I tend to call kind of cucumber smelling perfumes. I just don't like perfumes that smell like that. So I tend to go for a sweeter type of perfume, vanilla type of perfume. And I like a perfume. I like to be able to smell a perfume. And I love it when somebody says, oh, what are you wearing? That smells good. So yeah. So let's start off with Chanel number no. five. Now, I've never really been a great fan of the Chanel's. They're very powdery. But I do like this uh, number five, the premier one, the premier. So the kind of notes in this are kind of rose, jasmine, um, ylang ylang, that type of thing. And you'll find with all of my perfumes, they're the sort of kind of smells that, that I tend to go for. So they'll all be in all the perfumes. So there's vanilla in there, quite woody. So, yeah. So that's um, Chanel number no. five. I'll just set them off the tree so I don't go over them again and again. So the next one, and this is a very much a YouTube made me do it type of thing because I, when it came to perfumes, I was the type of person that would have one perfume and that would be my signature smell. That would be it. But, um, yeah, then this happened. All of these perfumes happened just through YouTube and things. And this was one of those things. Um, unless I am kind of do happen to stop at a counter, smell a perfume and fall instantly in love with it. Normally what I do is I go in, if I keep thinking about it, I'll, I'll go back to that perfume and buy it. But now I've kind of moved on from having the one perfume as, you know, you can see here. So this was one of those YouTube maybe do it moments. So I went for this, um, the number five Lure. And I like, I like the smell of it. What I don't like about this, it is very light, but it's known. That's why they brought this out. It's known for being, but it very light but it doesn't last either so that's another thing I'm I'm not a fan of this this is definitely not a repurchase this has been a repurchase this one here so this one's kind of I mean you can barely smell it through the bottle I don't have any perfume on today so it's 
very extreme like lemon is the first thing I get off of this so this is kind of lemon mandarin orange um again there's ylang ylang in there which is what attracts me jasmine cedar that kind of thing very 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 light that's a very very light perfume not repurchasing far too light for me and it didn't last on me either so let's go let's go to one of these chanel um exclusives where are they where is it here so this is the second one actually actually this is the third one of these that i've had two gardenia before this um and got the, the gardenia one was gifted to me when my eldest son was getting married and that was the perfume i wore to his wedding and it got stolen from the hotel room and um, my friend who bought it for me when she found out she went out and bought me another one so that's that smell always reminds me of my son's wedding then the same friend bought me um 1932 now when i smell this in the bottle it's kind of that got that typical chanel powdery smell but when i smell it on myself um i do like it again this is kind of got the things that i like in it bergamot jasmine ylang ylang um, vanilla musk so that's that kind of smell so that's 1932 and I love the way these kind of just um yeah play with that all day <laughs> yep so that's that one there so let's go to uh Tom Ford I tell you what this is gonna be my next purchase my daughter-in-law absolutely love this so this was a sample i was given and that's what the samples look like when you get them and santo blush is can we see that there we go and oh can and that's what i like about the tom ford perfumes you can smell them they're right there and that's what i love and i could just smell it already so that i'll probably be my next kind of purchase definitely and yeah really like that that's a uh, tom ford so this is kind of very it's got all the indian spices in it you know like cumin cinnamon love it jasmine you can smell in there cedar sandalwood it's woody it's warm it's spicy yeah really really love that definitely gonna that's my definitely my next one so my other tom ford one is another one of my favorites here so it's tobacco vanilla oh this reminds me of christmas this i don't know this is definitely one that i wear at christmas time yeah oh oh i can smell that all day that's really beautiful so in here we've got vanilla obviously cocoa or cacao um tonka bean tobacco blossom so this is strong i like it because it's strong because it lasts it's a heavy perfume it's warm it's spicy it's fruity yeah all of the things that i love definitely would repurchase this and there's actually i don't know if you can see that there's not much left of that one so let's go to a Jo Malone this was my first ever Jo Malone perfume I've had candles before I've had um moisturizers you know all that kind of thing I've had all of that but this is my first Jo Malone perfume and these darker bottles these are the more intense perfumes mm, like the same again again this is I would call a wintry perfume beautiful again that one's been well used love that as well um when i put this on um it's a uh, noticed and people go oh, what's that what have you got on um yeah so oh, i might as well tell you what it is as well so this is um amber and patchouli that's what 
this one is so of course it's amber and patchouli it's a very kind of woody warm spicy smell love it oh lovely I smell that anyway let's go on to an Armani one where's my Armani one just here so this again this is like the Chanel exclusives but it's um, the Armani one this is from the what do they call it the Privé is it the anyway Privé line whatever it is so this is called now this is what this is called and when you look at it it looks like Pivoni Suzu right when you look at that that's what that looks like but I think the actual pronunciation of it is right if I'm wrong I'm wrong but I'm gonna go for it Pivoni Suju Sujo Pivoine Sujo, I think is something, Pivoine Sujo, I think is the actual pronunciation. <laughs> oh my god, the things we do on YouTube, but that's what it is. And, oh, oh it's so sweet, it's beautiful. See, I just love every one of these. Oh, beautiful. So this has got um, mandarin, raspberry, rose, rose I think is the strongest smell. Then of course this is musky because I like that. It's sweet. There's amber in there. Patchouli. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. I love this. This is my kind of special perfume just now. And this is very much an all year perfume. All year. Definitely. So let's go on to... Let's go on to... My everyday perfume. Black Opium. Which I repurchased time and time and time again as soon as it finishes and it's ready can you see that it's ready to finish lovely um gonna definitely get another one this is just my everyday perfume black opium so in here you know it's the usual jasmine orange blossom pink pepper is what the you know i've obviously i've read all this up and i've written it down um vanilla patchouli usual smells that i like so yeah that's a staple in my diet shall we say okay let's go on to one that i'm going to talk about this one here because this is this has got elements of what i do like but it's got that element that i don't like gucci bamboo and when you open it up, it's, I can't, can't really smell it through that. It's probably because I've been smelling so many, but it's, when I put it on me, the, the strongest smell I get is that floral smell that I don't like in perfumes. It's got things like Ylang Ylang and orange blossom and vanilla and amber it's got all of that but i don't know if it's the lily that i'm picking up that i don't like that f strong floral scent that comes through I, and it lasts this is when i put this on me it's on me forever so that's another one okay so that's there's something in this that i don't like so i won't be wearing this i'm going to give this to one of my my daughter-in-law's because there's a there's that i think it's that strong floral smell that i don't like that really is quite strong on me when um i put it on so yeah there you go gucci bamboo and um, let's just get the box um that's it yep so I'll just go through everything else that's on the tree. Oh no, we forgot about Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. So, now this to me is a very um, summery smell. So you get things like, I think, a coconut in there, definitely. Um... Elang Elang, maybe? Um, 
yeah so this is very very it's it does remind me a wee bit of um Estee Lauder bronze goddess Estee Lauder it does that there's a, it, it's that kind of summery smell that it reminds me of I've had um Estee Lauder's um bronze goddess before would I repurchase I don't know would I repurchase this I don't know see I'm smelling it now and it's it's that just remind, it's just summer in a bottle I think I've said that before that strong coconut smell beautiful and there's definitely lang lang in that as well but would I repurchase it I don't know I want to get that other Tom Ford one that I said that what's it called the Santo blush I think I want to go for that um but yeah this is definitely a summer perfume so that's all my perfumes on the tree I've also got um, a candle a diptyque candle my daughter-in-law said to me you have to have a diptyque candle because all youtubers have a diptyque candle so that that was part of my mother's day present one of my mother's day presents that I got and the, I haven't actually used it but my whole room actually smells of jasmine so that's a jasmine one so also on this tree I have two um, Christian Louboutin nail varnishes the one is of course the um the rouge what's it called that the, the Christian Louboutin um I don't know if you can see that there it's there I can't see it as you all know but it's your classic red Christian Louboutin red and I do really like these and I don't keep these in my nail varnish drawer because they just don't fit um, I do have a video of how I store all my makeup, my creams and um, nail varnishes and I will link that below so you can see that and the other one I have is this one here don't know if you can see that there it is and that's my one of my other favorite colors of um nail varnish and on my nails today i have my chanel espadrilles so yeah so that's what i that's kind of the other kind of that kind of tiffany blue color i love so yep yeah, that's my other Christian Louboutin that's the only two Christian Louboutin nail varnishes I have also on the tree I have this now this was uh, a gift with purchase from the Chanel counter the cosmetics counter and inside is a chameleon and it's like a pen that you can kind of pin onto yourself onto a bag onto a hat in your hair so yeah that was just a gift of purchase and i just keep that there and i have a nina ricci talc a chanel talc a coco mademoiselle shower gel and i also have a coco mademoiselle moisturizer and I also have um now I used to use her perfume, what was she called? What was that called? Vivian Westwood. Because smell it straight away. I used to use this years ago, the Vivian Westwood perfume. Absolutely love it. And this is just a dusting powder. Looks like so. And you're supposed to just kind of tap it on yourself like that. Obviously, it's not gonna look like that. Yeah, that's that typical Vivian Westwood kind of perfumey smell. Yeah, there we go. So that's my tray empty. There we go. That's so that's the tray that bit actually comes out, and I got that from TK Maxx. So that's my perfumes that I use, and um, yeah, that's the request done and dusted tick that's another one next video will be a tag video and i'll get onto that i'll probably do that one just now but i'm gonna go and have a glass of wine first because it's wine time and um remember if you're not subscribe please subscribe just press that button and um yeah come and join me 
um, and remember to give me a like and I'll catch you later. Bye!